Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 32, 34, where we have 21 moves to clear out 37 jelly and collect four ingredients. So here are the ingredients and I have to drop them down here. Alright, so I've got to get rid of these licorice locks, I've got to get through this frosting and through this frosting. I only have four spots to drop these, so if this drops onto the conveyor and gets taken away, this is orange. It should just come right over to here. I don't see any other conveyor. And it wouldn't be collected correctly until it comes back over to here. No, not to here. There's nothing there. Oh, and this is not on the conveyor. So this is a pitfall area. I could be in serious trouble if things drop into this position. So that's something I'm going to have to watch for. Now something that I really like on this board is that I don't have very many colors. I only have a few green on the board, so if I get rid of the green, maybe I'll make some specials to help me clear some of this area out. Although I can't reach the green, and I do have an opportunity to make a special, so I'll take that. Yeah, let's just start busting through here. Oh, and I've got dispensers to help me as well. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a striped wrapped combo, and the wrapped wrapped combo is a bit too far away to do much help over here. So I'm actually going to do this and work on clearing things out. Now I've got a stripe stripe opportunity, which would at least clear some of this out. But the way this is, unless I could get it onto the conveyor belt uh, and bring it over, it's going to be hard to have this influence, like especially this top area. It can influence the bottom area. But the problem is with only a few colors on the board, it would be hard to allow it to come all the way over there. Things would likely kind of just uh, explode on their own, I think. So this might take a while to figure out the best opportunity for this particular board. And I don't want to open these up until I have a place to put them because I've already determined I don't really want them on the conveyor belt. I have the feeling this is going to be one of those levels where it takes me a while to develop a strategy. So what I've been doing is I have been looking for opportunities to clear out this bottom area so I can open up or clear out the bottom area and the top area. But specifically, I've been looking at the top area because I figure that I need to get the top area cleared um, because it's harder. So when I have the opportunity to clear the top area, that's what I've been doing. But I don't think that's a good strategy. I think clearing the bottom area first would be best. First of all, it would allow me to make specials probably that could affect this area. Secondly, oh, this is so tricky. Um, secondly, I do really want a place to be able to drop these once I get this cleared out. I don't want these to ride the rails. So I don't think I'm playing this one particularly well, but I think I'm learning a lot what I should do for next time around. However, with such an interesting opportunity to make specials here, I'm not giving up. Anything crazy could happen on this board. Although I'm not particularly fond of what's happening now. Every time I try to set something up, things explode. So it's really hard to set things up here because of the conveyor belt. That means that if I get an opportunity to send off a special, I should just probably take it and not wait too long. Although here, well no, this is good. If I can get a stripe there, it'll drop straight down. It won't go onto the conveyor. I was at least able to clear that out. So I'm making some progress on this board, slow as it is. Oh, here's another ingredient, and the problem is it's going to go beyond, isn't it? It's going to take off unless I do something to stop it doesn't matter. I don't have any moves left, but I do think it's important. I think if it gets onto the conveyor, then I would have a really tough time getting things back around. Okay, so now I think I've discovered a lot about this board. I'm going to go ahead and try it again. I still may not make it because I think this is one where we have to contemplate so many different outcomes that uh, this may be one where we not only need strategy, but we also need a little bit of luck to help us out. 
So my new strategy is to focus on this directly. I know that licorice will impede my progress. I'm going to try to take that out first, knowing full well I may lose that opportunity, but I didn't. So I'm going to take this now and try to get more striped trapped combos here. Oh, I've got so much orange though, look at that. No way that's going to hold. I can make a move in here directly that hits both top and bottom. Nice that that got set off. Sometimes these dispensers are stingy, so if I've already got stripes on the board, it may be that no stripes come out of the dispensers. So that's also important to watch. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, before I lose this opportunity, let's take it. Although I'm a bit concerned. There we go, we got that removed. This is looking so much better. I'm really learning how to manipulate the specials. And I'm getting luck so that things aren't exploding before I get the chance to use them. That's a bit of bad luck that that fell down on me. I really would like to set that with a special. I think it would be spectacular. I'm actually going to end up bringing it down a bit because I had a good opportunity to clear some of this out. I'm going to make a color bomb and detonate it right away. Let's see what happens there. It takes out a color which concentrates things down. This goes on to the conveyor. Ooh, but I should be able to bring it through. But then it's going to get in my way a bit. See, now I'm going to have a hard time clearing that out, and this is on the conveyor. I have to drop it down. Well, that's okay because I can go ahead and collect it, and that is my mission. Nothing's on the conveyor now, which is good. But how do I clear this out? Well, oh, I really do think that I need to try to figure out how to get this set with this special. And, oh, nope, couldn't. So now I think I will try to use this area. Oh, wait, hold on. The problem is I don't have purple right down here where I need it. So I could do this, but it would take a while for things to get down there. I'm actually going to do this, which definitely hits this twice. And I am going to try to hope that I can get this set with another special. Though it's really tough to do. Okay. If I can get this with this orange. No! Well, at least we got that one cleared. It's a tricky one. Oh my. All right, so if I can clear this out, I can have another approach to this, which I may be able to clear it out just by this cascading that's happening. Not quite. Yowza. All right, well, I can see if this is going to get cleared out because I can read this like it's a page of a book from the upper left to right, all the way down like this. This is going to go horizontally, vertical, horizontal, so that doesn't help. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, there we go, there's one. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, this one doesn't count. Horizontal, that doesn't work, vertical. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, I should have just enough to get it done if I do this. So much stress, though, at the end there to try to figure out the best move. And I know that I had a bit of luck on this board, but I think when we've got only four colors and they can combine in so many different ways, there's going to be a bit of skill and a bit of luck. And when you have a lucky board, you need to try to make the most skillful moves possible to capitalize on the luck. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments or things that you discovered that would help or pitfalls that I didn't experience that might help other people to avoid um, danger, please put those comments below and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. And as always, thank you so much for watching.